and grants have been provided to reflected wards in Michika local government area of Adamawa State as part of the Oxfam Empowerment Program aiming to support Boko Haram victims for rehabilitation. The report is presented from our studio. The Adamawa State Government, in collaboration with Oxfam, the German government and other international development partners, is implementing interventions to restore peace and development after a decade of armed conflict in northeast Nigeria. The initiative includes allowing victims to assess grants as a flag of, of a grant competition marks the fourth phase of a social cohesion and inclusive community development plan spanning five years. The ceremony involved over 150 participants, including representatives of affected communities, states, and local government planners, and officials from Oxfam, Cruden, Sipad, and other development partners. The expectation is for them to put into practice what they've been taught so far on this project, because this project has a lot of capacity strengthening activities on community development processes and on inclusion that is not just only one particular group in the society, in the communities. And also has a lot to do with self help projects, and then that we've seen when we came for the ceremonial launch last, last time, and then when we visited some of the communities to see what they've been able to do. Stakeholders in affected communities are expressing that the community development strategy is already possibly affecting their lives. This project has impacted the lives of the people who have been affected by insurgency very significantly. As a matter of fact, the project was designed for those who are IDPs or who, who are host community or those that have one form of migration status or the other. And what's the project about? It's about the people being in the forefront of their own development. They're actually coming together to do what we call a community development plan. In Michika, Adamawa State, 16 world development support communities, committees and stakeholders competed to determine the best people-oriented projects implemented in their communities. As we, we, are, we, have, we have assessed many things in all our various units, we have so many things to do, especially we have one primary school there at Lu Primary School. They have a deliberated classes whereby if rain, in the rainy season like this, they cannot even go into the class and have the lectures. My plans there is to, our plans there is to renovate those classes and give them portable water. They don't have water there. It's one of our plans. Actually, this program, uh, I learned a lot out of it. Because uh, our people, most of the times, they thought they rely on government, thinking that we cannot do without uh, people doing for us. But as we started this, when this program comes, now I really believe that we ourselves, we can do even more than what we did. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.